Hey, hola. I guess it's six o'clock, and we are in Sos del Rey Católico. So, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Francisco, and hello again with Tuesdays with Fran. Today we're going to be visiting this village, beautiful village of Sos del Rey Católico, a beautiful, beautiful village, medieval village, in the kingdom of Aragon. So, first of all, I need to put my mask on because today. In this region, it is holiday, so there's a lot of people in this little village. So, here we go. Let me show you around this beautiful village. So, welcome to Sos del Rey Católico, the village where Ferdinand, the Catholic king, was born. But there's much more than just that, okay? The, you have to think that Sos del Rey Católico we, first, a lot of people say, okay, SOS is like help, and to tell you the truth, that is not the origin of the name. We really have not 100% sure where the name SOS comes from. There are two different versions to it. Some people say it has to do with a pre Roman settlement that it was called a tribe called the Seosetanus. Seosetanus, SOS, it could be that. There's another uh, belief that says that it could have been because there was a church here and the name of that village was Sancti Opidum Stephani, S-O-S, which means the village of St. Stephan. Okay, uh, before I continue with the tour, look how narrow all of these streets are, so connection might be a little bit weak once in a while and I might even break. So I'm going to continue because I connect like in no time. So, hola Patricia, hola Elo, how are you? So <laughs> that's a little bit of the origin of the, um, of the village of Sos. The thing is that we really don't know uh, who sailed or who started all of this here. What we know is that the, for the Romans, this was the commercial route to go to La Gallia, okay, from Spain, from Iberia, going all the way to what today is France, okay, so that was a very important thing. Uh, years later, by the year 714, the Muslims, the Moors, came over here, and they, uh, they didn't settle, but they packed, okay, they did a lot of pacts in here, uh, and at that time also the Jewish community came around here. Right now, I am in the Barrio Alto, the neighborhood on top, this is the highest neighborhood, and this was what it was known to be the Jewish quarter, okay? And we still have some uh, little things that let us know about the Judaism in here. We know that this house, that's why I'm stopping here, this little square that you see here, uh, sorry, it was um, a symbol for in the Judaism, because it is where they used to put the Metsusa, M-E-C-U-C-A-H, uh, at the entrance of their houses, the Jewish houses, and they would write there uh, two passages of the Torah, and every time they would come in or out of their house, they would touch it. You have to remember that in 1492, when the Catholic kings expelled the Muslims and the Jews, the Jewish community, uh, they were given two choices. You either uh, leave the country or you convert. What did this family do? Well, it's easy to see. Here we have the Jewish symbol and on top of it the Christian symbol. So we know that this family converted, okay, which is uh, a very a beautiful sign that we see here about the tradition of the Judaism here in the village of Sos. By the 10th century, in the 900s, this is not Aragon. Today we are in Aragon, but back then uh, it was the Kingdom of Navarra, or to be more exact, the Kingdom of Pamplona. That kingdom, which is where I come from, today we are in Aragon, okay, in Zaragoza. Uh, hi, Sara. The thing is that this uh, kingdom of, our, uh, of Navarre was, at that moment, it was a Christian kingdom, we were very powerful, and we had one king that on the 11th century, in the year 1035, 
his name is Sancho el Mayor, Sancho the, the old one, he, he had four male siblings. It is that these four male siblings, the, instead of the oldest one getting the whole kingdom, which was part of what today is Castile, Navarre, Aragon, and part of what today is Catalonia, it was a very strong, very big kingdom, the kingdom of Pamplona, kingdom of Navarre, uh, this king decided to split it in four sides, okay, in four different kingdoms. So the four boys could get a part of a kingdom, and that way they would not get into war one to each other. So to the oldest one, García Nájera, he got what today is Navarre. To Ramiro, he gave here Aragon. To Gonzalo, he gave what part of what today is Catalonia. And to Ferdinand, another different Ferdinand, he gave uh, Castile, okay, what today is land of Castile. <laughs> and that was a problem because uh, the brothers did not get along, especially uh, Garcia and Ramiro, which is the kingdom of Navarre and the kingdom of Aragon. Okay? They were always fighting, continuous fightings and hatings and the whole thing. So it was not an easy a relationship between the two brothers and they were always from that moment on they fought and fought and fought uh, the reason why we are here today in Sos del Rey Católico is because of this incredible building this building it is from the uh, beginning of the 1400s and this place it is where Ferdinand the Catholic King was born uh, Picture this, so imagine this. Uh, I feel like Sofia Patrilla, Sicily, 1922. <laughs> no, but imagine uh, the king and the queen of Aragon, King Juan II and Queen Juana Enrique, they're visiting their relatives in the kingdom of Navarre. She's pregnant, she's nine months pregnant, and suddenly she starts having a baby. And she knows that that baby is going to be the future king of Aragon, and she doesn't want the future king of Aragon, to be born in Navarre. So she ranks away of Navarre, and the closest village in Aragon to Navarre, it is here. They came all the way up to this place, to this palace, okay, the palace of Sada. Let me show you the name of the family. Palacio de los Sada. Okay. So uh, they were hosted here, and Ferdinand, the Catholic king, was born on March 10, 1452. Okay. Uh, well, let's start going down the little village. Hello. People are looking at me funny. Hola! <laughs> okay, so what's the deal with that? Uh, the thing is that this family, the uh, Sara family, as they help the Catholic king, you know, the, the kings, to have their baby, uh, they were gifted with a lot of money and titles, novelty titles, and to pay respect to the, fir the birth of Ferdinand, the Catholic king, this family, the Sada family, uh, the firstborn in the family up to today, they are still, the firstborn is always named Ferdinand, right? Okay, now this is one of the most narrow passages, so maybe the connection will break, hopefully not. Okay. Hello. People saying hello to everybody. <laughs> so, uh, oops, sorry, I tripped. So the thing is that that family has always had one sibling, the first male born, named Ferdinand, which I think is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, the village of um, Sos del Rey Católico, as you see, all the construction is made of stone has always been in the border between Navarre, Aragon, were very, very close to France. So they have always been a defensive uh, bastion for the kingdom of Aragon. That is why all the constructions are done uh, in stone, okay? Because they have always been a very strong, very defensive, uh, always battling little village, okay? Well, little. Back then it had a, uh, up to 3,000 people. Now there's only, as I said, less than 600 people living in the village of uh, Sos del Rey Católico. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. 
there is a group. I'm so happy. It's so difficult to see <laughs> two groups nowadays. So let me, I'll explain what she's explaining to you later. So let me show you. Because now, okay, let me move a little bit away so I don't bother her. Uh, let's see if I don't break. Okay, hopefully I'm back. Unfortunately, as I said, the connection here, it's not very, very good. So uh, here we are in the main square of the village and we have two magnificent buildings. This one from the 1800s, uh, it, is the, it was a school, Isidoro Hill, and it opened in 17, 1793 as a school for boys. And it is still a school, not just for boys, but for boys and for girls, but has always been uh, a school in the city of Sos. Okay? And this super beautiful building that we have here, it is the city hall of Sos. Here uh, we see, uh, well, it's a Renaissance uh, building from the 16th century, 1500s. And this uh, type of construction, it is a traditional construction in Aragon, okay? Here, as you see, uh, the first two floors are all constructed in stone, very flat, very simple. And the higher floor, it is all with those arches, okay? So this is from the uh, 1500s, this is 18th century, and as you see, they follow more or less the same architecture, okay? One of the things, let me see if I can zoom in very well from here, because the woodwork up there, it's magnificent. I don't know if you get to see it. You see how beautiful it is. That is the old coat of arms of uh, Sos del Rey Católico, okay? The one on your left. And the wood here, it's a very, very strong and very hard, and it stays in super good shape, as you can see, okay? And let me take a little closer look for you to the coat of arms in stone, which you can see it much, much better. That's it. So you see there are the two towers of Hercules, the castle, because we are here in a huge fortification, and then the four yellow or golden bars uh, of the kingdom of Aragon. And this is a beautiful stone coat of arms. Uh, let's see if they have moved because here what this girl was explaining it is that uh, this was the marketplace in the city of uh, Sos del Rey Católico okay here every week everybody would gather around and as you see here there are a couple of things that I think are let's see if they don't mind if I come in Whee! so let's see if the connection is good here so here we have two things this hole here it was to put the weight, the scale, to, uh, to weight everything that was sold in the market. If you had a doubt, if the shepherd or the, I don't know, the apples, they said, okay, it's one kilo, are you sure? They would come here and this was a public weight. And there was one person who was in charge of that, of making sure that everything was in the right uh, weight. And this line that you see up here, it is, the measuring tape, <laughs> let's say that way, uh, of that time period. You have to think that back then they didn't have centimeters or feet or things like that. So in the year 1514, Ferdinand, the Catholic king, made this measure, which is a, uh, as the official measure of his kingdom, or the kingdom of Spain at that time. Okay, So those are two very cool things. And there's another thing that I like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this here and this one, where am I? Here. This is a stone, it is super, super strong, and this was used to, uh, to sharpen the knives to cut the meat, okay? Because this was the, uh, the market, and this is where they would do it. So I love this little marketplace here in the middle of the village of Sos. And let's keep on going up. As you see, we are going up and up and up, okay? The village of Sos, it is a viewpoint from here. We're gonna go all the way up to the Pyrenees and we get to see the Pyrenees from here, 
right? So it was a huge viewpoint. That was a very, very important thing back then. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Oops, where is it? Oh. I'm breathless. I'm like going up and up and up and talking. I'm like, <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> I love this village. It's very small, but has so much into it that it's really fantastic. By the way, if you ever come to Sos, one of the things you could do is to stay here because they have an amazing parador. Okay? The paradors, if you don't know what they are, they are historical buildings run, changed or converted into uh, hotels. And they're super nice. They're always in perfect locations. and they're great so i would say that staying in a parador it is being part of history all right so it's really really amazing so that is we cannot go to see it right now i gotta cross this bridge and here the connection is going to be super super weak hopefully i will not break but here at the entrance of the bridge we see this symbol and which is a mark of sanctification it is not Knights Templar, <laughs> because I realized, oh, it's a Knights Templar. It's not. It says Stefania. Okay. Who was Stefania? Queen Stefania was a queen of Navarre. Okay. And she's the one who commissioned the construction of the church that we have right now on top of us. Okay, let me see. Right. Okay, let's see if you can... If I don't break... Okay. Okay, here we are. So, Queen Estefania of Navarre, she's the one who uh, commissioned the construction of this church. Okay, and one of the strange things of the of the village of Sos del Rey Católico is that this um, how do you say this was by the 14th uh, century, well, sorry, by the 10th century, this was Kingdom of uh, Aragon, but this church remained being Navarre, one of those strange thingies. <laughs> so this is the church of San Esteban. And as I said, the construction started in the year 1059, and it is in Romanesque or Romanic style, okay? It's beautiful, beautiful. Unfortunately, in the weather here, it is, it was, and still is super strong. And they didn't put this covering until the 1500s, so it is very, very damaged. Although we can see some very interesting things. Here on the left, we have, whoops, I don't want to fall. This gentleman over here, it is San Lawrence, San Lorenzo. San Lorenzo, it's always been represented with a grill in his hands because the way he was killed it was being placed in the barbecue. And as you see, especially on this side, the three gentlemen that we have here, their faces are red. It is because they were colored and they keep the original colors, the original pigments. Okay, so the first one was St. Lawrence. This one with this uh, cane, it is a bishop, okay? And the third one is St. John the Evangelist, okay? And you have him here whoops, let's go up, with the book of John in his hands. Okay, on the other side, what we have, okay, here we go. The first one closer to the church, that one, it is King David, okay. The second one, it is the lady who constructed uh, this church, is Queen Stephania, I mean, if you pay, you put yourself. And the third one, this one, it is the monk Pelayo. Monk Pelayo, he was the one that discovered the uncorrupted body of St. James in Santiago de Compostela. Okay, and thanks to him, we have the Camino de Santiago, St. James pilgrimage. And guess what? We are in the Camino de Santiago. That is why he is being represented there. Uh, in the tympanum, on top of the, on the entrance of the door, we have, I don't know if you get to see it very well, have Jesus Christ sitting down, a pantocrator, 
uh, his blessing and he is escorted by the four evangelists okay so that's a beautiful beautiful representation of Christ blessing all of us but I told you that this church or this village it is important because that we are on a defensive uh, place okay we are on a height from here we get to see two kingdoms okay let me get closer to the balcony you see that we have gone higher and higher and higher well <laughs> look how tall we are okay so really this is a huge uh, viewpoint I am telling you that from here you get to see two kingdoms all of that as you see in front it is the kingdom of Navarre and as I go to the east that is behind those mountains on a clear day uh, I was here last week checking the Wi-Fi and the whole thing you we could see the Pyrenees the high Pyrenees right there on the back okay today it's a little gloomy day so we don't get to see them but they are there so right there it is the kingdom of France so the thing is that if somebody wanted to invade us I don't care if it was from the kingdom of Navarre or the kingdom of France we could see them coming okay that mountain range that we have there is La Sierra de Leire the mountain range of Leire where there's a beautiful beautiful monastery that we're trying to get to show you but I don't know if we're going to be able to see it okay because uh, there there's absolutely no connection at all and from here we get to see the remains of the original castle but now unfortunately the sun is heating straight into it so we don't get to see it but that is the remaining of the old castle of Sos del Rey Católico and with that I think we are more or less visited the village of Sos del Rey Católico I hope you have learned a little bit uh, about this beautiful little village and uh, I'll see you around hopefully next week Ello will be with me hi Ello I'm missing you today so have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week on Tuesdays with Fran. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.